Okay, welcome to a Guilds of Ravnica draft. We have ran away from the competitive drafts with our tails between our legs, and we're going to try back the non-competitive ones again because I don't want to get absolutely decimated like last time. So let's see what we get. Uh, camaraderie is, is actually really neat, but it requires a lot of setup costs. So it's um, a six drop to, you know, maybe, I mean, with, with um, Celesnia's game plan, you are going to hopefully have quite a few creatures out, but I just don't think this does enough for the setup cost that is required. Um, however, Deadweight is a really efficient card, and it's going to be, and it just is really an overperformer for a one drop. Um, other cards in consideration would be Healer's Hawk, which is really uh, excellent, I think. Um, it's great in Boros. It's really nice in Selesnya as well. Being able to mint around the Healer's Hawk is, is just out of control. But we'll take the Deadweight because I think that it's just a little more versatile. Um, it looks like there is a Notion Rain here for us. Um, there's also Wojak Bodyguard. That would be good with the, the Healer's Hawk if we picked that instead. But um, let's... Um, the District Guide actually is quite good as well. This is allows to for some splashing and fixing and things like that. I actually think I'll take that because I'm tired of playing Demir. So let's let's go down this route a little bit instead and see what happens. Mm, okay, so we have a Whispering Snitch, and apart from that, the really only things that are mentioned worth mentioning are Goblin Electromancer, which is the second one we've seen, but we didn't really see any great spells for the Is It deck yet. Um, Alternatively, there is also a Burglar Rat. Um, this is a fairly weak pack in general. Um, I think we'll take the Rats because we'll always play it in any black deck. Okay, so there's this is a strong pack for Boros with the Bodyguard, Unicorn, the Bodyguard, the Unicorn, Parhelion Patrol. The Direct Current is also um, quite solid. Hmm. I think I will take the direct current because it can be good in essentially in two of the really strong decks, both the Boros and the um, Boros and is it? We may have to move off of these first three picks, basically. Let's see. Um, I've heard that Maniacal Rage is, is quite good, actually. Um, some I think Ben Stark was saying it, maybe, or was Reed Duke, somebody. Um, I haven't actually used it to much effect myself, honestly. Um, unexplained Disappearance is, is solid. Uh, we have, and I think this is, this is um, a bit difficult to navigate uh, what we've been seeing so far, but I think with what we have... Um, yeah. Let's take the unexplained disappearance. I'm not sure what to do. Okay, let's. Um, still not clear what we should be doing here. We'll take a rat. Um, this isn't feeling super great so far as to what's going on. Um, this can be good to stall at the board, especially for helping give reach to um, those green decks. But we'll take a severed strands here. Um, still nothing particularly good. This is disappointing. Do a Child of Night or a Passwall Adept. Passwall Adept, I think, is good. It allows you to put that damage through um, and really just get going. Um, so the Healer's Hawk wheeling is interesting. Um, it's hard to read signals from this because it's bots pulling everything. So we're just going to go ahead and stay on the rails here, I think. There's not a lot else for us to hope to do, unfortunately. Um, it seems like what's essentially going to happen is we're going to have a very weak uh, black-blue deck. So let's grab a guild gate in case that turns out to not be the case. Okay, niv it is not going to happen in our deck for sure. Um, another district guide is a possibility uh, to try and salvage the pretty terrible stuff that we're picking up so far. Um, I think that's really 
probably the best that we can hope for. If we want to try and do some, try and get green up in here. Uh, yeah, actually, I probably should have thought of that, about that better because we only have two green cards, both, both of which are the district guides, and it's not really pushing us in any direction. Maybe we should think of trying to, I'm not sure. Uh, let's just, we need some creatures that are worth quasi duplicating, but we'll go ahead and take it, I guess. Um, the Night Vale Predator is certainly something, and it's definitely a, a good target for this. Maybe we'll get lucky and uh, pull together something that makes sense for the Demir deck. Uh, it's looking like possibly that may be what happens. I'm going to grab a Psychops here because I want to have something on the ground that we can use um, if need be, if we actually are kind of a grindy deck that's really just waiting for the Night Vale Predator. Take the Severed Strands again. I've been impressed with the Veil Chain. I think it's pretty reasonable. Take that. Take another Divas cover up. All right, so it seems like the district guide plan is not going to be happening. Uh, take the Phantasm here. Take that, then we're not going to play it. We already have Nephitic Vapors. We'll take the. Is it Guild Gate here, actually? Three Divas cover ups are certainly not going to happen. We don't want a watery grave. I think the City Watch Sphinx for the top end would be good. Is it better than a dead weight? I guess here it might may be. Take a capture sphere. We want some even though we did pass the notion rain. Um, how many surveil cards do we have? The Night Vale Sprite is Gonna be a surveil. Red current's not gonna happen. Sonic assault, probably not. Obviously, candlelight vigil, not either. Hmm. Trying to decide basically between the, another phantasm or a dowser of lights. I'll take a phantasm. Hope we get the dowser later. I'm sure. I'll take the watcher in the mist here. Which is, I think, better than the City Watch Sphinx. We already have two pass walls. We already have two Veiled Shades. Not really a lot for us here. I guess we can take the Maximize Altitude. Yeah, this draft did not go super well for us. Um, it wasn't really clear to me what seat we were supposed to be in, honestly. I'll take the Bats. Take that never happened because we are, are pretty underpowered here, and we want to be able to um, take whatever it is there that the opponents may have that's far better than what we have. Uh, we'll take another. Is it Gilgate? We will splash. I don't think splashing a direct current makes any sense. Take possibly the Sonic Assault. Definitely seen better drafts. This is a problem, but it's okay. We'll see if we can salvage this in some way. We're gonna just cut some of the things that are not ideal for us. Um, I mean, really, honestly, not much is ideal here for us, right? So, um, what are we? 28, five cuts. Mm -hmm. What is our creature count? 17. Okay. Now we have a bunch of shitty creatures, so I think the two separate strands may be okay. 
We'll keep the two devious cover ups in there. Cut the bats, maybe. I'll keep the vapors. Cut the fist and fist. Cut one pass wall. We're at 24. Can this actually be a 16 land deck? Uh, with 10 2 drops, I think that is reasonable. Yeah, alright, let's run this sad sack. And I'll play one match now, and then I'll come back for some later. Okay, we'll keep this. It's a little slow, <clears throat> but that, I don't think there's a whole lot else we can expect from our deck. Um, okay, so it looks like those vapors are probably going to be helpful for us if we can get that out. The mythic vapors are going to be very sweet for us because this may be a Boros deck. I don't know, it's the last thing. Okay. They're off to a running start. Which is fine. Okay. Um, I think we're hoping to draw another island so we can counter whatever big stuff they have later. And quasi duplicate is certainly not going to help anything here. Okay. Um, I don't know if the, we want to play the vapors yet, but I think actually no, that's a that's reasonable. We'll get a surveil, smooth out our draws, kill the hawk, and then we will also get a counter on the phantasm. Mm -hmm. I think the rat is going to be fine. It will give us something that we can sack with the separate strands. But we want to leave the island on top so that we can devious cover up the next turn. Okay, we want to kill that immediately, basically. As they start drawing cards off that, so this card is a 2-3. We can cast a creature spell, you draw a card. It is absurd. We obviously do not want to capture Spirit. We want to instead destroy it. But we're going to leave it up, and we'll counter whatever they cast. And then we will also um, kill it next turn with the severed strands, so it should be fine. Yeah, I don't necessarily. Uh. Yeah, we'll let the Beast Whisperer resolve because it's for casting. So they've already gotten the value out of it. That that Okape is not particularly good. We can flash in the Capture Sphere on one of them, actually. But we'll have Guardian in the same vein. Though I think we will cast that, I guess. Wow, so they got their, they definitely got their value out of that card already. Uh, and we shuffled, that is a bummer. We shuffled, uh, should have declined that actually so that we would have gotten the rats. Hmm. That is okay though. So we'll buy ourselves some time with the life gain here. It was not wise of me. I probably should have fall off, held off a little bit. I'm going to lower this. See if it helps with the encoding. No blocks. 
so we can deal with one of them with a capture spear next turn if we need to. We'll actually capture spear that instead. Is it worth never happening now? Yeah, I think that's fine. We want to see what sort of gas they're holding. Uh, two mites of the masses. Okay. This is good to know about. Definitely let them play a centaur peacemaker. I'm not sure why I can't click on. Okay, I see. I had to wait until I saw what's in the graveyard, so, okay. Hmm. So they will just smite of the masses, something. They swing in for a fair amount of damage. Yeah, I don't see us winning this. This deck is just pretty piss poor. Not much else to say. So we're gonna have to chump this time. They're gonna pump and give plus four, so that's a seven. Um, yeah, so seven, eight. Okay. So we're going to get this eaten. They're going to buff it with the body of the masses. Okay. So we have a spy bug, and now we'll quasi-duplicate it, I guess, to buy us a turn. It's a really... Uh, shitty way to do this, but there's not anything else for us. We take two. And there's essentially nothing that can save us here. I, I can't really think of anything. They're holding the Peacemaker back because they don't want us to gain four life, obviously. Alright, and that's uh, that's it. It's about what I expected from this deck, uh, so I can't be too disappointed. Shall we go for another? We'll go for one more, and then I'll come back for more later. Get, come back for more ass weapons later. Laser Llama with one L. Hmm. This looks eerily similar to our last hand. But we're going to keep it. We'll play it out like before. Seems similar. some Boros going. Not what I want to do. We'll move to combat. Offer the trade. Of course they don't want to do it. Die. 
our defender game might be a little excessive. Okay. So we'll capture Sphere the Legionnaire or whatever else they put out that is bigger. Oh yeah, we will certainly capture through that. We'll take our medicine from this Legionnaire because we're going to be able to eat it next turn anyways. We'll go ahead and do this just because we want to get this surreal trigger. We want to make sure we grab our land next. Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll get those up to four fours after we drop Watcher in the Mist. We'll take our two again. We're going to be drawing this island. So we'll be sitting kind of pretty with this creepy dude staring in. Hmm. Not really sure how that skull is levitating above that nice jacket. That's interesting. All right. And we will be taking... All right, we'll drop this off. No attackers. No attackers. We'll be taking the five, or we can trade off one of the phantasms for that, because he's going to swing in with the hammer dropper. We need to get rid of the hammer dropper as soon as possible, because we don't want to mentor the hammer healer song for sure. Maybe they'll hold back so they can attack with the marshal next turn. Okay, that's that's not great. Wow, that presents a problem. We'll take the four because we'll sever strands next turn. And we will sever strands with the uh, So the red doesn't have any trick that they can do, so we can... I'm trying to think if it's reasonable to swing or not. No, I think we should hold it back. So we'll... Yeah. I, I just... I, there's no sense in trying to race for one point with this flying life. I think we can just eat it next turn instead. So. They have three cards in hand, though, so... All right, the bodyguard. That's fine. They may try and attack here. Okay, I thought maybe they would represent some sort of trick. I do think it's probably worth throwing away the sprite to get the 5-5 five five out. They may have some something to remove the sprite so they don't have to deal with that anymore. Okay. Makes sense. This is a good attack. Though. Very good attack. Six. All right, we'll take the six. We gain three up to 20. But we can make the Phantasm turn on this turn. Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, the Deadweight doesn't do a lot for us, but I did want to keep it there because it allows us to at least shrink the Bodyguard or the Hawk. Um, it just gives us some flexibility so that we can really hopefully do something. Yeah, I thought this was coming. All right, so a possibility for us is to dead weight here, make it a one one, and then we swing in with a knight, but or we uh, can eat it with a sprite. But I think in in that situation, they would then just maybe throw the body guard away, such that they can continue to keep attacking with that. So yeah, I think we really have to do that. May as well attack with the Watcher and the Mist now, since we can't block with them. Let's see what we draw after this, if we make it this far. But yeah, I think they'll throw away their bodyguard so that they can keep getting in with the Hawk. That's what I would do, I think. That land is not going to do it for us, unfortunately. Go ahead and attack with the sprite to make this even bigger. Uh, get rid of that land for sure. Yeah, I mean, we can take. We'll take three next turn. conservatively because they really all they have to do is this once more yeah and that's not going to do it for us make them discard something we can still take we'll still take one off the chump with this sprite Alpha to strike him, which makes sense. Right, so there's no way to win this, obviously. Yep, Divas cover up's not going to do it. So let's see if we can 0 and 3. That would be on par for what this deck I think is honestly worth. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to hear what you have to say. If, uh, what any viewers have to say about if I was neglecting to see a lane. I mean, I think there was a sign in that one pack that Boros could have been an option, but it was all in the same pack, so I wasn't really entirely sure what to make of that. We're going to go and keep this because we have uh, this appearance to, to, um, to save us for a bit, but we don't have any creatures for this quality duplicate um, until much later, which is fine. Um, getting a multiple Watcher in the Mists would be great. Um, so, but the Burglar Rats here is an excellent draw because we know how it can turn on the Severed Strands. Uh, the Demirror. Good. We're going to get grinded into Oblivion. Get the Mortar and Pestle, Skitty. We're going to get messed up. Um, 
we can wall a mist here. There's no reason to bounce the unexplained disappearance. Second island here is solid. We'll just pass. We'll bounce anything super ridiculous. Okay, there's my disappearance. Hopefully, the th they think we're representing a counter spell here at the four mana, which is completely reasonable, and which we do have. And they may be waiting to run out better things. Ah, so we now do have the Devious cover-up. They probably won't wait another turn. Um, they see us stumbling on land. Maybe they think we don't have it. Let's see. Wow. Okay. This tells me that... Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're just waiting to wait like we are or... Or if they're in the same situation as us, really. Honestly, it could be either one. Let's see. They're gonna counter this. Okay, so it, that pause there makes me think that they have a counter, um, and they're just doing the same thing that we were doing. Honestly, we'll see. Can bounce this to our hands. Yeah, I think that that's not terrible. I mean, the spy bug is basically one of the ways that we're going to win here. They may counter this, which would be good for us. They spent their whole turn doing this. We're going to certainly keep the island there. And we actually will run out the spy bug again before we run out the watcher mist so that we can get that trigger. We may even get super greedy and quasi-duplicate. Um, well, it's not greedy. That's just double spelling. That's just good logic. So let's spy bug, see if they counter it. They may. We will quasi-duplicate. Do they counter? They may counter this. Okay. Uh, maybe they don't have, they just have an instant of some sort. Alright. So we can get punished by uh, Nephitic Vapors here. Uh, if they have that, or if they draw it, that could be a problem. But if they don't have it by next, by this turn, then we can watch in the mist and be home free. I mean, the Separate Strands is a really nice answer. If they have the um, hexproof homie, then that's not going to be great for us. So let's watch her. Some, let's watch her in the mist here. So they can counter this right with the disdainful stroke. Actually, that's right. Okay, so not excellent for us. We can swing with one of the spy bugs, keep the other one back to block the bats. We're holding the swamp because we don't it's not helping us by putting it down, and we may want to save it for this quasi-duplicate. We will drop it if we get the um, Sphinx. Yeah, maybe I should have thought about the stainful stroke, but it doesn't seem like they were really. They don't seem to have any cast to spend all their mana on anyway, so it would be really tough to play around that counter. I'll trade off the bat here. They could Dazzling Lights us. Um, doesn't seem... there. I think they were thinking there about whether or not to make it unblockable. And they were probably trying to, and it didn't work for them. Right. Hopefully they 
have a tough decision here. Uh, yeah, that's the card is basically unplayable. So we may just grind them out here if we we can quasi. I, I don't think the spy bug is worth quasi duplicating right now until we find some of our surveil um, surveil triggers. I would like to wait to draw another um, land before we play Veiled Shade, just so that we can keep the counter up. As they drop something crazy, particularly that Hexproof, that is not good for us. This is our only chance for beating the Hexproof Death Touch. Oh yeah, so we got paid off hard for doing that. Um, we'll put just the Watcher in the Mist and the Rexford Disappearance back. We'll leave the Quasi Duplicate in there. Okay, hey, that looks familiar. So that would give us the 5-5 five, five to work through, or we can have... Yeah, so let's quasi-duplicate. And then unexplained disappearance. Drop the Veiled Shade. bounce our own burglar rats so we get some value out of that because they're not bouncing their shit isn't helping us at all so yeah any land goes to the bottom uh that's not what we want because we're already gonna make them discard it Too bad we can't play that burglar rat this turn. That would have been pretty nice. Right, and so they're keeping the land, probably, what if they just drew um, to discard the burglar rat because they saw it bounced, which is very smart. Or something. So they've got something good in there. Maybe we should have uh, taken that. It never happened to play. As long as it's not the flying death touch hexproof, we will be able to be fine. So yeah, they are on a clock, albeit a slow clock. Five more turns after this one. We've got two removal spells in hand. As long as it's not the hexproof, we are sitting pretty. Wall adept here. Um, you know, just to uh, be able to start getting through an extra one point of damage. Uh, there's really no reason to not be putting even more pressure on them, but they're just not doing anything here. It seems like their deck is similarly weak. Um, yeah, so they're running. I thought they discarded another Child of Night. Thinking hard about whether or not to counter this. They'll probably come to the conclusion that it's not worth it. Okay. So they want to find ways to kill our spy bugs with that dead weight. We can 
only hope they didn't draw the predator. Disinformation campaign is good for them. Um, I guess we'll discard Capture Sphere and play the Severed Strands next turn to gain some extra life. And we just get it out of our hand because we really can't do anything else. All right. Oh, and I gravely miscalculated the, the turns on the clock because we were swimming with four every time. For some reason, I thought we were swimming with two. Okay, let's see if we can scrape together another win. Uh, I think we need two more wins to break even. Maybe it's three more wins, which I think that seems pretty unlikely. Corpocracy, some sort of play on corporate. Uh, this is a keep for us. We don't have any double black. Um, we've got the blue that we need. Phantasm spy bug. Yeah, so this deck actually does run on the 16 lands fairly well, it seems like. It'd be nice to draw a couple of our surveil triggers for the spy bug. Okay, this is excellent. We are gonna drop a spy. Um, yeah, so we're gonna drop the sprite first. So that we can start adding counters. We will let them continue to play out their cards for a little bit so that they maybe have a harder choice of what to discard because you wanna start getting these counters. Ooh, that is outstanding. An outstanding uh, play for them. It's really, Crawl Harpooner is is just out of control good. Um, I want to never happen to them here. Uh, yeah, so we're taking Status Statue. But they have a ton of removal here. The Shaman is gonna make me sack something. They may play the Shaman now. Hmm, looks like not. Okay, so we cannot double spell here due to the lack of extra black, but we will make them discard. Because the Spy Bug is not doing anything extra for us right now. There's Oh, right, they can't play the Plague Crafter because they don't have black. There. Thinking about which one they want less. A hired poisoner. Did they draw that swamp? Looks like negatory. We're gonna drop another burglar rats. No mercy, honestly. So they dropped the severed strands. Okay, so plague crafter here. Is far less good for them now that we have the burglar rats. Um, the rising lurcher is only a three-three. If they do drop it, which I will happily, or not happily, but I will double block. Mm, I don't know actually. If I would double block that. Okay. Seems interesting. Oh, they want to be adding counter moves. Makes sense. So I'll drop the spy bug. Get that out. I was just thinking about a possible thing to overcome the Ocran assassin would be to target their assassin with the passball adept. Uh, that sounds like a pretty neat play to do to mess up that plan. Island is not what we're hoping to get here. Um, we could quadruple block. It seems pretty bad to do that, though. Um, I'm 
we're just holding the land to make them think twice about what we may have. Should we quadruple block? That is the question. If they have a pump spell, we get blown the Finkel out. We can take the four once. We'll consider the need to... All right, that's not a great one for us. Hmm. We'll take it one more time. Next time we will quad block or triple block. Sorry, I don't know why I'm saying quadruple. Uh, yeah, hopefully next turn they'll play something, um, and we can counter that pump spell if they have it, and we'll uh, four for two ourselves, which doesn't seem excellent. All right, now's the time. Pump it. Or not four. They're gonna. Two. Two for one. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's what they're holding back. Spell for whatever they draw. The only consideration would be that they're getting close to Arboretum Elemental so that we couldn't. Yeah. You got your knight. I think we'll wait on the capture sphere for this. I mean, I'd rather, yeah, exactly. So we've got six there. We will drop that this turn. Because we can eat that if we need to, now that we can pump it up. I mean, we could pump it up. their turn. Duh. All right, so we'll attack with the shade. Pump as needed. Drop the swamp so we can capture sphere if we want to. Vigilance will allow them to keep swinging back, so I guess we'll do that instead. Dark loops. Obviously, Predator is a great draw for us, so. And we can even buff it enough to kill it, as well as draw the Predator. So I expect that they will concede with this. Oh. All right, they're gonna play it out. That's uh, that's reasonable. This is not for them. Good 
game to YouTube. That was just an excellent top deck. Um, they could have held out for a little longer against us, but the Veil Chain is eventually going to get in for the win there. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see a lot of necessary commentary there. It was... Oh, yeah, because we have quite a few ways to make our gyms back. You have to get six wins to get slightly, um, to get your entry gems back, which are 750. Six wins is asking far too much from this deck. I think this is probably the game that does this in. We're looking for some cheap creatures. Two land with this has me worried a little bit, but we can drop the Veiled Shade. We can hold our Explain Disappearance. We'll keep it. Though it's not, I would have liked one more land. Yeah, on the play, it's not what you want. I, maybe I should have mulliganed it, honestly. Um, I'll pass. Hmm. Not great. So, yeah. Discard the baby. All right, that was a massive punt. We should have done that their turn. So that we could sort of surveil the Divas cover-up and drawn the swamp. All right, so that was a punt there because we could have had the Veiled Shade dropped. Okay. However, we can now do the Veiled Shade and Severed Strands, the Etrata. We'll take the four gladly. That's our punishment for punting so hard. Alternatively, instead of the Severed Strands, we can capture Sphere. Yeah, let's make them think twice about what they're going to be doing for this. If they play something crazy, then we can Divas cover up it. Um, but I suspect we'll just. Um, spy Bug's fine. Dead weight that next turn. Yeah, they may get a chance to disdainful stroke this, which would be unpleasant. To put it lightly. Hmm. I was just thinking about would we watchers in the mist if we end up drawing. Yeah, I mean, I think that we need to buy ourselves some time. Go 
unfortunately we cannot pump the shade and then sack um, just to gain a little life because we can't do anything else with that. Our life, so. Or with our mana, I mean. Next turn, we will... I don't know if we would drop this... I mean, I guess it makes more sense to drop the Sphinx batter one. If we do draw the land. But we do get to Surveil twice if we drop the Mist. So I think that's actually better. So we can... We can sort of... Ah, uh, they just want to Surveil to make this. Okay. Makes sense. Hmm. Ah, that's... Pretty nice. Alright, swing for seven. Yikes, that is quite the explosion. So now we are forced to play this mage so that we can trade it. Um, and we don't have to worry about our surveilling too, because that is gonna happen. Um, we'll discard the cover up because we want the watcher. If they surveil here, though, it's game over, essentially. Or if they do that. Um, yeah, that's game. What did I say? I mean, I thought that was it, and lo and behold, it was. Yeah, I mean, underpowered deck, again, another Demir deck that just did not quite make it. We just... Uh, I just wasn't sure what to do with navigating those packs. Um, this, these are these kinds of lessons, though, are, are really interesting to me because I just I don't know what that means for you know what you're supposed to do in that draft. Is that just unlucky and you just leave it as is, or or do you is there some better way to actually improve that? I'm not sure. Okay, so let me know what you think, and uh, thanks for watching.